guys and welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the first time you're welcome thank you so much for always watching my videos and if it is your first time on this channel my name is fifa for those of you that do not know in case you're not aware <laughs> my name is fifa thank you so much for stopping by please and please and please before we continue with this video kindly help me press that button beside that subscribe button beside please help me subscribe to my channel and become part of the family all right so straight into today's video today we're going to be talking about something very sensitive and i'm going to try as much as i can to explain in details when i start talking about it so basically we're going to be talking about people pleaser yeah i realized that in the world we are in today we have so many people that happen to be people pleasers yeah so first things first we're going to go into the meaning of what a people pleaser is or what it actually means to be a people pleaser So basically we're going to go into what a people pleaser is so a people pleaser is a person or rather a people pleaser is someone that basically puts the needs of others the opinion of others and the and the attention and the needs of others above themselves or above their own needs their own opinions and their own so i i sometimes i wonder that why do people why are people actually people's pleaser so one of the traits i found out is that people can actually be people's pleaser because of two things first things first is self-esteem low self-esteem so when people have low self-esteem they are very afraid to say no to people they don't have the self-esteem they don't have the confidence they don't have the courage to tell this person oh no i can't do this oh no don't talk to me like that oh no this oh no that do you get and people that have low self-esteem are people that are actually people's pleaser because then also people that like to avoid issues they don't want to allow they don't want they are people pleasers they don't want anybody to say i'm not going to be your friend again i'm not going to be your this again i'm not going to be your dad again they are avoiding issues they are avoiding conflict they are people pleasers and also people that need the opinion of other people for instance you are a baker you bake the cake and to you the cake is very nice but you're like ah i don't think this cake is nice let me ask my friend whatever my friend says is the final thing they answer when you're like oh this cake is rubbish this cake is and she's saying take the cake away do something else this that why if you can convince yourself that this cake is good why do you have to ask for the opinion or for the approval of another person i don't know if you guys are getting me why do you have to ask for the opinion of another person those are people pleasers and a people pleaser will not have peace of mind that's just the truth let me use the scenario in an office space in a corporate world so you are a people pleaser and Someone is coming to tell you that you have a tax your line manager basically gave you a tax to do i have it you have a deadline and one of your colleagues is coming and they're like oh she said will never tell me no they already have that mentality and they come to you you have a deadline and they, and they come and like ah he said please help me do this thing and yeah they're like ah ah and i have something to do blah, blah, blah. But i cannot say no so that they don't pick offense so that they don't fight with me so you quickly say okay 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 i'll do it people like that you are not going to have peace if you are a people pleaser you're watching this video i need you to retrace your step because you are going to be hurting yourself in the long run you might not be aware of it as at now but in the long run you are going to affect yourself and you are going to indict yourself because if your line manager comes to you to ask you to fair what about the tax i gave to you would you tell your line manager that someone else came to give you a tax who is more superior between that person and your line manager and even if the person is more superior than your line manager you're supposed to tell the person oh i'm sorry my line manager, my line manager gave me something to do when i when, when when i'm done if you really want to please the people the person anyways when i'm done i can literally but then you won't even say anything you're just going to collect it that is you going to be indicting yourself so i would i'm going to be stating some things you can do to 
avoid being a people pleaser self-reflection so you need to be able to sit yourself down reflect on the things that you're doing what do you think you are doing that is wrong do you these things that you are doing is it affecting you is it is it is it making you gain more knowledge or is it in, is, is it making you indict yourself sit back and have a self-reflection on why you are being a people pleaser it might be something from childhood whereby you've been intimidated so much and you don't know how to say no yeah yeah you're always frequently apologizing for for things that you are not even supposed to apologize for so you have to sit back and have a self-reflection that's the first step i will want you to take to overcome being a people pleaser two set boundaries so you need to know how to communicate to people when they ask you for something you need to be able to explain to them that oh i'm sorry i'm not going to be able to do this thing at this particular time because you have something to do oh i'm sorry i'm not going to be able to do this you need to learn how to communicate to them you are not going to come off as being rude but you are setting boundaries in a very clear communicational tone you're not being rude you're not being apologetic but you are setting boundaries you're like oh i'm sorry i can't do this because this is not my job description oh i'm sorry i can't do this because i'm not the one supposed to do this that is you setting boundaries for yourself so when you set boundaries like that the people around you if they are very sensible enough to to grab one or two you know that okay it's like this person is setting boundaries for us number three most importantly learn how to say no so when someone comes to meet you let me use a family member for an example if i'm ever always coming to meet you that like, oh please i need this money i need that money i need this money and you collected your salary already or you or maybe you're a business person but say you've made money and you're like okay for this one you want to use this one to do business for this one you want to use this one to feed you want to just want to save you want to just want to enjoy yourself and You've basically allocated all those funds to the necessary place. And someone is coming to meet you to tell you, oh, please, can I have money? Can you borrow me money? Can you do this? Learn how to say no if you know that you do not have the capability to help the person at that particular time. Learn how to say, oh, I'm so sorry. It still goes back to the number two that I stated, which is setting boundaries. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have, I can't help at this point. You are not being rude. You are not being stingy. You are prioritizing yourself first. That's another. That's another step to how to overcome yourself. But then, oh, I'm sorry, auntie. Oh, I'm sorry, my brother. Oh, I'm sorry, my niece. Oh, I'm sorry, my nephew. I don't have that for now. Probably some other time. That is just learning how to say no. You need to learn how to say no, just so that you don't, you don't, you don't put yourself in trouble. Maybe it's the money you want to use to do business. You want to say, okay, no problem, no problem. I'll help you. Give the money to the person. And your business is going down the lane. If there is no, if you don't invest in your business, how does money want to come in? So you need to learn how to say no. That I'm sorry, this cannot happen. This cannot work for now because I've exceeded my limits for the month. That's quite explanatory itself. Next one is build self-esteem if you need to see a therapy it's fine if you need to rather if you need to see a therapist it's fine if you need to go for therapy it's fine you need to boost your self-esteem so that you will not be intimidated when people come up at you and be like oh this and that and that and that and that and you're like oh okay 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 i'm sorry let down to build your self-esteem like when someone is trying to bully you should be able to stand up for yourself and be like oh no don't be a people please and be like oh okay i'm sorry i did i i, I did you are not supposed to be apologizing unnecessarily why are you apologizing build self-esteem when someone walks up to you you talk and say i'm you know like you're coming off rude anyways but when someone comes to challenge you you should be able to stand up for yourself and speak for yourself i'm like don't talk to me this way this and this and this and this is what it is that is you standing up for yourself and that is you building self-esteem you have to be very confident in your own self you need to be very, 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 very confident in yourself. 
So learn how to build self-esteem. Practice building self-esteem. Learn to treat yourself well. Learn to treat yourself nice. Learn to speak good things to yourself. Learn to say, yes, I'm strong. I can do this. I'm worthy of this. Do you get? Learn to speak good about yourself. Affirmative words to yourself. Now, yes, be fair. I'm proud of myself. I'm good. I can do this. You are building your self-esteem. You are building your confidence. You are building your confidence. So you need to acknowledge your strengths and your weaknesses. When you should be like, oh, okay, this is my weakness. Okay, I need to know how to work on this. So this is my strength. How do I gain more strength in this part of my... In this, in this phase? How do I gain more strength? How do I do things better? Another one is manage guilt and anxiety. I know when you start learning how to stop being a people pleaser. The, I know the, 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 the fear or the guilt of ah, anxiety, guilt, this. I need you to understand that you are not always going to be responsible for people's happiness. You should learn how to prioritize your own happiness as well because you are an human being. So people's happiness don't lie with you. It lies with them. Your own happiness does not lie with other people. It lies with you. So, you don't have to have this guilt or this anxiety that, oh, ah, well, was I supposed to say no? Was I supposed to, no, don't, don't do that to yourself. Also, practice relaxation. Relax your mind. Listen to music. Eat good food. Watch movies. Read novels. Your mental health too is also very important. It's also very, very important. So, don't think you are you are you are responsible for other people not being happy so learn how to also manage guilt and anxiety relax your mind relax and and take up that mentality of oh because of me this person is not happy or oh, because i said no this person is not going to no no don't do that to yourself another one is going to be um seeking support and therapy you might want to visit the therapy or you might want to go for therapy to you know talk about different things how to ease your mind how to da 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 how to yada 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 so a therapy can if you don't want to speak to anybody about it if you don't speak to your close friends about it you don't speak to your spouse if you're married you don't speak to your partner if you're dating you don't speak to your parents because you feel like they might not understand you and even if they understand you just want to have something outside from the people that you know so seeking therapy and help is also a way to overcome being a people pleaser because the therapy is actually going to understand you and going to give you other coping mechanisms and, and other techniques to i'm sorry that noise sorry for that breaking transmission so as i was saying you can see a therapy a therapy is going to provide you with different techniques different skills and different steps on how to overcome being a people pleaser and also you need to surround yourself with supportive people supportive friends supportive family that 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 will encourage you and that respect your boundaries and are proud of your growth so you need to surround yourself with supportive people supportive environment people that they respect your boundaries you respect their boundaries they're happy to see you grow they help you to grow and become a better person you need to surround yourself with ld ld and good people so i hope with i hope all that i said is something that resonates with you and if you've been a people pleaser before and you're watching this video and you've actually overcome being a people pleaser i would really appreciate if you can literally just share your experience the tips the mechanisms the techniques that you use in overcoming that aspect of your life of being a people pleaser and not being a people pleaser anymore i really appreciate it because it might actually help somebody as well so i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you you keep watching my videos i keep coming back i hope you subscribe to my channel as well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in my name is still remains to fair and i'll see you in another video Bye.